guys welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to do just a updated everyday makeup routine I have two new products that I wanted to share with you guys and I thought that it would be fun to film so the first product that I'm gonna be trying today is the L'Oreal infallible pro glow um, foundation and this is in the shade 207 and then I have a new palette here this is the L'Oreal Paris enchanted scented eyeshadow palette I'm really excited to try the foundation because I've used um, the Infallible Pro Glow Concealer and I really, really like that. And I just think that it just makes your skin look so glowy and fresh. And now that it's winter, my skin just tends to be a little bit more dry. So I'm really excited to try that. And then this eyeshadow palette is just beautiful. It has a lot of pinky tones, just warm tones that you guys know that I love. So I wanted to try that as well. So this is just gonna be a quick makeup routine. I'm not gonna share everything with you guys today just because I feel like half the stuff that I say is just repetitive. I use the same thing pretty much every day. So this is just that primer that I like. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I really like this because it's hydrating, as you guys know. And um, so going in with this foundation, I just had to open it up. I have no idea if this color is even my color or what we're going to be working with. But I'm just going to take some of this and just dot it all over. And I was excited to try this foundation because you guys know that I love using that IT Cosmetics um, uh, tinted moisturizer and I feel like that this would be similar to that. I feel like that this foundation could be very buildable and like you really wouldn't have to wear a lot. Oh wow that color. Look at that. That's pretty much perfect. Okay. I am so pale right now like when I look at myself in the camera I'm like oh my goodness girl you are pale. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit more. So far, so good. I think of that it pretty much just looks like a tinted moisturizer, and I'm sure that you could really build this foundation. But I'm just going to add just the tiniest bit more. I kind of broke out a little bit. Um, I started using a different face wash, and it didn't agree that well with my skin. I don't really break, tend to break out, but I have like one here, one here. And one right here so I went and got um another face wash I shared that with you guys in a vlog but if you want to see an updated skincare routine just let me know we can I can totally do that so yeah I think that so far that looks really good and it just looks like my skin and that's what I like with foundations now um you know I just don't like the cakey look or like I'm wearing a pile of makeup I really just want it to look like my natural skin and just enhance enhance what I already have going on. So then this is the L'Oreal Pro, the Infallible L'Oreal Pro Glow, and this is in the shade um, 01 Classic Ivory. And I'm just going to buff that out. I always just like to add a little bit around my nose too because for some reason that is where the foundation always like comes off first. I don't know why. Um, my foundation that just never really stays around this area. So I always like to add a little bit of concealer just to help. Just to help with that a little bit. Okay, as you can see, I feel like my skin just looks really healthy and dewy. I'm like really, really happy with how it looks. And this is obviously a lot cheaper. I'll find it, I'll put the price point right here, but obviously this is a lot cheaper than that IT Cosmetics um, foundation that I use. So I am always trying to find good drugstore products. So I would, Prob like I would literally say that this is a dupe for the IT Cosmetics uh, tinted moisturizer for sure. And then I'm just going to set underneath my eyes. 
and I always like to take it just down a little bit on the sides of my nose. Okay, so typically I wouldn't even um, do eyeshadow. I would just put on a little mascara and be done, but I'm going to use this palette today just because I wanted to try something different and share it with you guys. So I kind of want to stick like with the, I think I want to stick with like the brown, brownish tones today. So I think what I'm going to do first is go in with number nine right here. This is just a matte, um, it's a little bit of a deeper brown color. And I am just going to put that right in my crease. And especially for everyday makeup looks, I really try to keep it to like one or two shadows just because that makes it so much easier. And if you're in a hurry, you can just like wear two eyeshadows and be good. So I really like to buff that into my crease and I always just take it down a little bit just to cover my eyelid. See, I mean, you could really even just wear that and be good. And this is pretty much just like, oh, what is it? The Sweet Peach Palette by Too Faced. Wow, this is just a dupe for Too Faced. Yeah, this is a total dupe for the um, Too Faced. I'm pretty sure it's called the Sweet Peach Palette. I'm not sure. I'm not, I can't remember what it's called. But all the shades are pretty much the same. And, well, yeah, it is a Sweet Peach Palette. Because when I first got this, I was like, Hold on, L'Oreal, what are you trying to do here? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of that same shade that we put in our crease. And just run it under my lash line. I always like to connect everything. Okay, cool. And then next I'm going to go in with the shade right here. This is number 11. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that shade just to deepen up my crease. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of that same shadow and put that in my outer corner again. Okay. And then next I am going to take, I'm trying to see here, I'm going to highlight my brow bone first and I'm just going to use this shade right here, the number one shade. And I'm just going to... I light my brow on a tiny bit. This makes such a difference. Every time that I don't do this, I feel like I just look a little dull. <laughs> this really pulls your makeup look together and it just really brightens everything up. Okay. And then once I do that, I'm going to take the shade number 10 in the palette right here. And I'm just going to put that on the same brush. And this has more... When you pick it up on the brush, it has a little bit more of a pinky undertone, but that's okay. So I'm just going to put that on my lid. And I don't want a lot of shimmer. I just want everything to kind of connect. So I'm just doing a little bit of this. And then taking that number one shade and just popping a little bit of that into my inner corner. And as you can see, that was really easy. So now I'm going to go in with mascara and, oh my gosh, is this L'Oreal too? It is. What is, <laughs> I normally don't use all the same products, but this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Waterproof Mascara. And what I like to do is just curl my lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and put on mascara and I will be right back. Okay, I have mascara on my top lashes. I don't think I'm going to use any on my bottom today. 
I just think that it looks fine. And then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Contour Trio Kit. And I'm really not going to do a lot with my skin just because when I wear the Tinted Moisturizer or just a lighter foundation, I really don't like to do a lot. I just like to bronze up my skin a little bit and I just want everything to look very natural. So I'm just going to go around my hairline. Wow, my hair is not even up. <laughs> Just go around my hairline and bronze up my skin a little bit and then typically what I will just do is just wear um chapstick throughout the day I really won't do a lip if anything I'll do like a little bit of a gloss so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and, en and enjoyed watching me use some new products I really really like this foundation I'm actually pretty shocked at how good it looks, so this is definitely a dupe if you're wanting to try something like a tinted moisturizer. I'm sure that you could even apply this with your fingers and it would be great. It blended out beautifully with the Beauty Blender, so you guys should totally try it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me, and be sure to check out all of the other videos that I have posted. I really appreciate all of the support. As you guys know, if I am not on YouTube, I am more than likely on Instagram, and I will leave that right here as well, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!